everybody welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a great day today so what we're going to be doing today is i'm going to show you how to add scripts to your 5m server it's very simple it's very easy to do um so what you got to do is go to 5m.net go to forum and you go to your resource development and modding releases and you have all these scripts that have been released um so we're going to go through here and find a script when i put it in let's just use mobile radar all right let's go to the very top and go to the download so there's two places you can download it. One will be Dropbox and one will be Mediafire. This one's Mediafire and this one's Dropbox. So I'm just going to do Mediafire. It's a lot better. Let that extract. All right. Next thing we're going to do is going to pull up our Citizen FX server that we, um, where we put it. I put mine in my C drive. So I'm going to pull mine up in my C drive right here. All right. We got our radar script. Once you have your FX server up, you're going to go to your resources. And here's where all the resources go. All your scripts and vehicles and such. So we have our radar. We're going to drag our radar. Ooh, I want to actually do that. Drag our radar into our resources. Open it up, and there's all the um, the client side script and all that kind of thing. You can go in the config, and you can change the language to English. Uh, you can change it to Mystic 5, but we're not worried about that. We're more worried about how to put a script in. So, next thing you want to do is you want to go down to your server CFG. Right click that. Edit with Notepad. As you can see, it's a little different than the uh, Citizen. But it was before, and this one you got to put in put in start and the name of the file. So if we go back up to resources, the name of the file was radar. So you put start space and radar. Ooh, raid r. If I can spell, and you would save that. And when you start your server, it will look for radar, and it's right here, and it will load it. All right. So one thing I didn't show you. That's how you put scripts in. Um, it's very simple, very easy. We're gonna go ahead and save. We already saved it. Close it out. One thing I did not show you on the previous video was making a run.bat file, um, which is something you need to do in order to um, start your server, not having to go through the command prompt every, every time you do it. So to make a run.bat, and basically what a run.bat is, um, all you got to do is double click it and it will start your server, or just going into your command prompt, typing in run this, run that. It takes you know, you know a couple minutes to do that. This one, you just click it and start it. So what you're going to do is, you want to right click new folder and then whatever you want and fx um fx bat for bat file you can name whatever you want it doesn't really matter we're going to open it up you're going to right click with new you're going to make a text document name that whatever you want we're going to just type in um run dot bat and then you're going to go into here you're going to right click edit with notepad then what you're going to do, depending on where you put your um, your FX server, like mine's in my C drive, if yours is in your whatever you want, your A drive, B drive, C drive, F drive, whatever it may be in, all you're going to do is change the letter. So for me, mine's going to be my C drive, so I'm going to type in CD, capital C, and then colon, and then a backward slash, and then I'm going to press enter, CD, and whatever the name of your file is, that in our case, ours is FX test. So we're going to do fx test, and then we're going to do the command prompt. So you're going to do run dot cmd plus exec server dot c oops cfg, and then you would save this as a bat file. Go in and whatever you want it to be. Um, then mine run dot bat, which just knows that I could run my server with this. Uh, I'm going to save it as all types. Save. And that's done. And then it will create a run bat file, Windows batch file. And whenever you go in, you can always drag it to your desktop and leave it there. And we have our script in there. And now we can run our server. So if you double click that, it's going to run your server. And boom. And now I started my resource radar. That is how you add scripts to your server and make a .bat file so you don't have to go into your command prompt and type it in every single time because if we did not have that .bat file what we need to do is go in there change directory fx test and then type in all the exec stuff you know all hand every single time you start a server but making this .bat file you don't have to do that you just see for instance to close this out and double click it runs it that's all you got to do Thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching. That is how you add scripts, make a .bat file. I hope this did help you out. If there are any more, I'm gonna make another tutorial, uh, and I'll probably post it um, probably right after this video, um, how to add cars. So 
I'll probably leave it somewhere up here. Um, I'll leave it in the link in the description for it. So if you want to check that out, see if you want to know how to put in cars, uh, I'll make a video for that, and it'll be up pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.